we are finally here at the hospital of Haiti. Uh, right now, in just a few minutes, we will go to perform the beeline surgery. Uh, I'm really happy and so excited. Right now we are going to make the design of my jaw, so I am really, really, really happy for that. I will be showing you all the steps that we will be going right now. Um, este es el doctor que está por hacerme la cirugía, el famoso Dr. Park, que es quien tenía las series de cambio de... I think that Korea is like the future because all of the people that is living here are so open-minded about plastic surgery they just take it like going to the dentist is that normal for them so I think in the future in the rest of the country like Los Angeles in Argentina in Brazil they will start being more open-minded about it because there are a lot of people young people old people who wants to do plastic surgery but they are afraid of what other people will think about them but here is different you do it and um, all, all the people who, who surrounds you, they will accept you. It is fantastic. I really hope the rest of the world start being like here in Korea. I'm here with a short part of the way, which is what we will do. Actually, do this kind of surgery. So now we are ready. And we will proceed, and then I will see you after the surgery. Okay? Okay, here we go. It's now time. <laughs> now to the operation room. Yeah. Do you want to go to the toilet all the time? No. no. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Right now we are going to take the air shower. Look at this. This is the air shower. It will clean the material that could interfere in the operation. First thought, it is very... Um, you can survive. It's it's nice. It doesn't... I don't... I don't feel anything right now. Hello. I met Dr. Park already, just a minute ago. They removed all the the canals um, of my mouth. I feel great, I feel fantastic. In, such, in, in just a few minutes I will be going to the hotel to have a lunch. I'm so hungry, so I'm very happy. <laughs> Hola gente, estoy acá en el hospital, acabo de salir de mi habitación, me voy a cambiar de ropa. Y bueno, ahora vamos a ir para afuera. Es hora de almorzar al fin, tengo muchísima hambre. Seguramente ustedes no van a entender lo que estoy diciendo, pero vamos a borrar subtítulos de todas maneras. Bye. 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 Hello everybody, I'm here in ID Hospital again. I will do a new facial treatment to reduce my swallow and then we'll meet Dr. Park. Hello, how are you? Good. How are you? Father. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Luis. I just got out from the laser treatment. Um, those lights make me heal better my post operation. So I'm taking it really good. It was fantastic. It was really relaxing. I feel great. Maybe I will go to see the city in just a few minutes and I will keep you updated with all of my process. <laughs> see you! Hi, I'm here again in ID Hospital. I'm waiting for the doctor to come, so today we will be removing my stitches. I am <laughs> kind of nervous because in every surgery, I think that the stitches part is not the worst, but it's really uncomfortable, but it will be okay. Could you use 
you're swilling those down. Yeah, I love this. I consider uh, plastic surgery as a form of mm -hmm. art mm -hmm. and any art has an artist and mm -hmm. a canvas mm -hmm. so that's why I want to ask you if you can sign the piece of art that you mm -hmm. made in, my, in, in me really it will okay. be a really big pleasure for me Actually, it is my first time but uh, I think kind of a uh, great pleasure and honor actually and so uh, I will. Why not? So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Thank you. I will keep in this book all my good stories. <laughs> so we are done removing all the stitches. Um, it really went better than expected. It did hurt like one or two, but the majority of them were like really nice. So. So we are here again, um, we will start the Q&A part of the experience where I be answer answering the questions that you post in the Instagram and Facebook account. We will start. The first question is, what is the surgery? Why did you want to get the surgery? And why in Korea? The surgery is called B-line, it's a type of jaw surgery where they uh, make your bone of your jaw smaller and with a really small beeline like an anime it's really common here and it really looks very good i decided to take this surgery because i have an asymmetry in my face i have this side more white than this other side so i wanted to fix that and also have my dream jawline and i decided to do it in korea because in korea plastic surgery is really common one out of five people does plastic surgery here so that's why they have really really good professionals i decided id out of all the other clinics because they have amazing doctors amazing surgeons with a lot of prices and also do you know the show let me in well you should check it out all these people is working on here so i know i am in the best hands possible to do my dream surgery question number two who is your surgeon Actually, you can choose the surgeon here in ID Hospital. I decided for Dr. Park because he is the one who created the hospital and it's one of the, it's one of the most popular overseas. Also, he was the one who uh, made the surgery of my friend Pixie Fox, so that's why I chose him to do my jawline. Question number three. Did it hurt? It is painful? Um, it's not painful at all because you are sleeping when the surgery is being done. Uh, it does hurt when you wake up but it's just one day and every time you really really need um, painkillers you can just ask the nurses and it's all okay so you will not suffer that much. Uh, it's really easy and some days uh, later you will feel great. Question number four, translators, post-operation surgery care, and what kind of things the hospital offers you for the surgery? The hospital does provide you with translators and post-surgery care. Every time you need anything, you can just ask them and they will be helping you in any moment. The hospital also provides you with checkups, uh, swelling care, pills, and all the little things you will need after the surgery, like the compression headband or also the heating pads, uh, the pills that you need to take. So it is all covered up. You just have to ask. Um, they will give you all to you to have an amazing healing. Question number five. How do you care after the surgery? Do you have to take someone to help you? or can you hire someone there in Korea? Well, you don't really need to hire someone in Korea. You can really take care of yourself. It is easy. Um, the first day uh, you will be in the hospital, you will be staying in the hospital and the nurses will take care of you. You just have to 
push a button and you will have them there. They uh, speak really good English, so you don't have to, to worry about that. And after they give you permission to go to the hotel or stuff, you can just take care of yourself. It's really easy to do. Question number six. How many days do you have to stay? In where? How did you contact ID Hospital? Uh, I stayed in Riverside Hotel, who is, uh, which is really near the hospital. I contact the hospital by telephone or you can also ask them anything for in Instagram or Facebook or email. They will answer all of your questions really quick. Question number seven. What's the price of the surgery? Well, it really depends on your personal case because we, everyone has a different face and everyone needs a different procedure. So I recommend you to contact the personal in the social media, send your pictures and they, then they will tell you the approximate price that will cost your personal surgery. Question number seven. Can you eat solid foods? Will you be able to eat normally once healed? Uh, do you have to use brace after the surgery? Will it be able to open and close again and as normal? It is better if you don't eat solid foods the, solid foods the first day after the surgery. Um, the, first, the first few days are, I eat only soup and spaghetti. But then I started eating something like pizza and sausages or omelets, things like that. You don't need to wear braces after the surgery, at least in my case. In other case, maybe you need to use them. For the V-line, it's really not necessary, but maybe for the double chin surgery, uh, double jaw surgery, maybe you will need to wear braces. It depends on your case, your specific case. Um, the doctor will tell you if you will need it or no after the surgery. Question number eight. How long do you wear the face compression for in the day? As well as for how long after the surgery must be worn until it's no longer needed. You have to wear it for around one week or two weeks, it's okay. And, uh, but you can take it out if you really feel that you need to. Question number nine. Uh, should you return in a few months to Korea to follow up to the operation? It's not really necessary, but I would like to come here again so they can check up and see it's all okay and maybe see if I need a retouch or not. I think it will be perfect, so I will just visit them to see how amazing my jawline looks uh, so they can take pictures and be proud of their work. <laughs> Question number 11. Do you think it's best to have two procedures done at the same time or just one by one? For example, nose, jaw, etc. Well, it depends on what things do you want. Um, I remember that when I was doing my jawline, I have a, an, another patient that was my neighborhood. Uh, she did the jaw, the nose and the ears at the same time. So it really depends what you feel that you can endure. Uh, it is okay if you want to make three surgeries at the same time, really. And I think it's best be because you do all the things at the same time and then you heal and you will be perfect in a shorter time than if you do one and then one and then one. It will be the more, much more shorter that way. Question number 12. What surgery are you going to get after this? Well. I'm going tomorrow to Los Angeles and in a few days I will, have, I will have my ears done. I will have my elf ears and a lifting. So yeah, having the surgery doesn't change the fact that I can do other surgeries while I, while I am healing this. And the last question, did you visit a lot of places while you were staying in Korea? What did you like the most? Well, yeah, I visited a lot of nice places in Korea. Uh, I visited the uh, Ensul Tower. It was really nice. I really recommend you to go there if you came here to have a surgery. Uh, also, uh, Myeongdong is really nice place to buy things and have a coffee and eat nice and strange things. Uh, then I visited the palace. It's really beautiful in the mountains. Um, I also 
went to the Lotte Mall. I think that was my favorite part because it has a lot of beautiful shops and it, it's, it's like a mix between a mall and a theme park. So you will be amazing of all the things you can find there. This is the end of the Ask Me Anything, so if you have any more questions, just leave it in the comments below on Instagram and see you in the next time.